Hey there, I'm Joel Jamison of 8 Weeks Out TV and today's ultimate performance tip, we have a killer way to strengthen your hips and improve your explosive power. Alright, so we're back today, we're going to go over the sled hip drills and if you saw our earlier videos on the shoulder hip drill, or shoulder sled drills I should say, uh, you're going to see the similarities and today of course we have Howie Clark again to demonstrate. And really the main thing here is we're working the hips from different angles using a dragon sled. So the first one, uh, how he's going to demonstrate is just going to be a forward hip flexion. Okay, and you can see him explosively drive the hips up and through, maintaining good neutral spine and good uh, all around posture. And you'll notice he's using a fairly moderate weight, uh, 25 pounds. You can go anywhere from uh, 25 to up to 90, really depending on your experience level and your strength. And again, you're going to notice Nice clean pulls all the way through. Go ahead and bring it back, Howie. Notice how Howie almost fell over there. You don't want to do that. Good job. Good for you, Howie. Okay, and we just have the sled attached to the ankle by just a little ankle strap. Uh, preferably you want to use one of those rather than just the straps because it will uh, eat your, your shins up, your ankles up if you don't have one. But go ahead and drive it through again. Let's do the forward one again. Okay, you want to bring the hips all the way through just like you'd be doing in the Lots of different actions. Okay, go ahead and bring it back. Uh, next one is we're going to do like a forward hip circle. And of course the idea here is you want to work the hip through a bunch of different ranges depending on your sport. Uh, for grapplers, which is a lot of the athletes I work with, they have to have strong hips in lots of different positions uh, on the ground and throwing kicks and knees. So we're going to go ahead and just have them do like a forward hip circle with this one. Bringing the hips up and through around through a full range of motion. Um, and as you get warmed up and as you're ready to go, you can be a little bit more explosive with it. Okay. Howie's ground game sucks, so he might not have the best hips in the world. <laughs> okay, go ahead and bring it back. Okay, again, you're going to notice how he's coming up and all the way around. Okay, good, just go ahead and bring it around. Now we're going to the same type of motion, but we're going to do an external rotation. So we're going to go the opposite direction with the hip, facing us, facing us. Don't get dizzy. Okay, so you're going to come up and out as he comes up and around. Good, it's fine. Okay, or you can face sideways and you do those ones as well. Go ahead and pull it around. Face sideways or no? Yeah, go ahead and face the other way though. So you're going to pull them up and out, externally rotating the hips. Good. And again, there's lots of variations. There's lots of ways you can do these ones. Uh, really just kind of up to you how you want to play around with it. Okay, we can do a backwards hip rotation. So go ahead and pull the sled. And how he's going to face backwards and do an external rotation. Good. So he's just going to pull up and externally rotate all the way through. Without falling over, preferably. That's, that was not it. Okay, you want to come up all the way around. Good. Do one more. Okay, I think we see where Howe needs some work. Okay, you can do, straight, you can do a straight kickback. Just a hip extension, basically. Up and straight back through. Good. And really the key, especially with the hips, like I said, in a sport like grappling where you're having to work from so many different angles, you really want to get the hips from different positions, different angles. And the sled's a great tool because, as you can see, you can work it from every angle possible. Good. Up and through. Awesome. Keep your eyes up. You want to keep eyes up at all times. Good posture through the spine. Last one, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show how this one. He's never done it before, but you're going to pull it back. Go ahead, come on, you can do it. And you're going to get in, get in a push-up position. This is, this is a great one for guys, especially on the ground, for driving knees in the body. Go ahead and get in a push-up position. Okay, and you can basically take all the same drills we did standing, and then I can do them on the ground. So how he's going to drive his up, his knee up and through. Go ahead, and then he's going to walk forward in his hands. And this adds some, some, some core and some postural stuff to it. Okay, you drive it up through. Okay, you can do that variation. Go ahead and do a, a forward circle up and around. So come up and around. Without falling off. Uh oh. Okay. Drive it up and up and around. Good. Okay. And again, this for, for grapplers especially, that's an awesome one because uh, they, they're in all kinds of positions: top position, bottom position, different positions of the guard, where you really want to have strong hips. Um, and so. Yeah. Let's do one more. Okay. And again, this is. This is going to work on the core strength. You start getting heavy in this one, and you're going to really have to have a strong, stable core to be able to do it right. 
All right, it's good. So you know, really the, the idea here is, we, like I said, we want to work the hips from different angles. We want to be able to train the explosiveness in the hips, forward, backward, different positions. It's awesome for grapplers. It's awesome, or it's awesome for change of direction, different athletes. You've got to be strong in the hips and the core. Um, we start out generally you know, anywhere from 10 to 25 pounds. Once you get stronger, you can, you can work it up to 45, even 90 pounds sometimes. And again, this is something you can do as a warm up for two or three to five minutes. You can incorporate into your strength routines. You can do it uh, you know, a lot of different ways. So it's just a great exercise. And, and for more tips, more videos like this, make sure to visit eightweeksout.com, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and uh, we'll have more tips coming your way soon.